turning these sneakers into this. I mean this. Yeah, buddy. What's up guys, thanks so much again for tuning into the channel. So this is Kicksport, we talk everything about sneakers, lifestyle travel, and a little bit of everything in between. And today we're gonna to be talking about the sneaker laundry and their sneaking, sneaking, whoa, their sneaker cleaning products. If you've seen me uh, use their products before, I'm a firm believer in them. And if you guys didn't know, uh, yeah, they initially grew up in Melbourne. Uh, they, you know, one of their first stores was in Melbourne. And uh, so that's why I'm a really big uh, fan of them because yeah, they're local to me. Every time I, I need some sort of sneaker cleaning uh, services and all that kind of stuff, I always go to the sneaker laundry. And uh, sometimes you don't even need to go there because you get, they provide you their products so you can clean your products at home as well, which is something I'm going to be doing today, especially with these dirty babies right there. These are the 90, 990s. Oh, I keep on saying 990s, but yeah. So these got really dirty. You know, Melbourne weather, unfortunately, obviously is very unpredictable. I actually went for a, a, like a little walk, finally, and uh, the, the weather went to the worst. It was, it was actually flooded in some areas that I had to walk past, so it got super, super dirty, and that's why they look like, like this right now. So horrible. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to do my best to kind of clean them off, and uh, let's see how much I can do using the sneaker laundry products so let's go all right so i'm gonna open the box right now one thing i learned by watching chase's videos if you haven't watched them is basically you have to use as little water as possible when cleaning suede sneakers and uh, i remember him saying that like you know you gotta uh, try to get rid of all the debris off first so all the surface kind of uh, dirt and all that kind of stuff, that's what you get rid of. And I think he was mentioning that you should use the black brush first thing, the long hair brush. Let's do that first. I can already see that it makes a difference. What's good about it, using the long brush and not um, using water, it kind of resets the suede straight away. It's not clean, but uh, from what it was before, you could almost walk out if it looked like this. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Anyway, let's clean the rest of the sneaker. Looking good. And look at that, guys. Just like that, it looks usable, I guess. <laughs> let's do the other pair. Oh, look at this one. This is the one that's gonna make a difference. Okay, let's go. Okay, so all the surface debris looks like it's off. And just look at that. Look at all the dirt I got off. Anyway. That's what it looks like after taking off all the dirt. So you can still see it's pretty dirty in some spaces like that. All right guys, so we went and gone and got those clean. So let's go and now and use the waterless cleaning kit. And it's organic guys. Yeah, technically I should be able to drink this. Let's go. Should I drink it? No, I'm not gonna drink it. <laughs> and now I'm gonna use the hog hair brush, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I, I don't mind as long as I could just wear the sneakers. Like, to me, sometimes sneakers look better when they're a little bit beat up and um, kind of dirty. But that's just me. Put it on the brush. Get a couple of pumps. Oh, it looks like toothpaste. It looks like I'm about to brush my teeth. <laughs> but I remember what uh, Chase was saying is that when you actually do it, try brushing and starting from something that is not suede and then moving all the way up. So, once again, we're not using water. This is a waterless cleaning kit. So this is why it works perfectly with the suede. As Chase was saying, you start off with the base on the midsole, and then you move your way up. Ooh, it smells good too. Hey, look at that. So obviously some bits are gonna get a little what like looks like it's wet, but it's probably just damp. Uh, not too too much to worry about. And uh, I can see it, yeah, it started to work pretty much straight away. Get a couple more pumps. Start off from the base. Work its way up to the top. You know what I forgot to do? I was, I was supposed to take off the laces first. Ah well. <laughs> I'll try clean them as well while I'm cleaning this way. And look at that. Nice already, if you think about it. Compared to what it was before, it's not that bad, Mike. That was pretty bad. And I set that off to the side for a little bit. And let's go clean this big baby here over here. 
So this is what it looks like with all the debris off, but still dirty. Let's clean this baby up. A little bit more of this uh, organic uh, waterless cleaner. Something so satisfying about looking at that. It's like the whipped cream you put onto your Starbucks kind of thing. That's what it looks like. <laughs> oh, man, I really should have taken these laces off. Samosa. Pretty good now already. Just looks a tad dark, wet, and uh, damp in some areas. What makes this a water waterless foam cleaner? How is it waterless when it looks clearly like there's water? <laughs> I think it's because it turns into foam. Because it looks like water in there, but when it comes out, it comes out as foam. So technically, it's not water. Yeet, looking good. And look at this. Look at this bad bit right there. So you can see that bad boy right there, that big stain. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, so that's what it looks like now. All cleaned up. So let's just wait until this dries and see what it looks like. A few moments later. So as you can kind of see there, it looks pretty good already in terms of uh, the comparison of what it was before and stuff. All right guys, so I let them sit for maybe a little bit. I can't remember how long. Uh, they're still kind of damp in some places. You're probably gonna look at it, it's like, Mark, it still looks dirty in some places, especially like the shoelaces. I was gonna try to clean the shoelaces, guys, but the only thing is, when I was using the brush, it was like, it looked like it was damaging the shoelaces because you're supposed to wash them more than brush them. And um, as I kept on trying to like, lightly brush them it was it looked like this like it, it was like really fraying all the material so i was just like no nah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that so if it, that if that bit looks a little dirty forgive me guys please but everything else i think it turned out really really well i mean um some of these uh you know uh spots that you saw that were really dirty totally gone especially around the midsole area it works really really well some places are still pretty damp on the suede i gotta admit um i was a little, not, i got a little worried about it, like oh man it looks like really wet uh, all the other places that had a little bit of um, suede on it, yeah, it's perfectly fine. The only thing that I have a problem with is, is it that little end cap midsole area? It looks like a, re like a really bad yellow gray. And uh, throughout the years, uh, all New Balances like kind of turn out that way. There's nothing you, really, you can really do about it. That's just how material deteriorates after time or like changes color or deoxidizes. But what's good about the sneaker laundry is that they can, they don't just clean, that they can restore as well. I can't do that obviously because uh, it, it needs uh, a little bit more expertise to do that kind of stuff and like better hands. I'm gonna go to the sneaker laundry now and let's see what they can do. Now, like when I get there, I know that Chase is gonna be like, oh man, did you really clean these bro? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, um, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say now, like I'm pretty happy with how these turned out already. It's just that this bit, yeah, if I could change it, why not? So let's go. Yo, 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 what's up fam? So we out here at the sneaker one here, as you can see right there. So we got the sneakers that we were cleaning before, but obviously I wasn't impressed as much as I wanted to be, but we're gonna go and get some help from my man Chase at the sneaker one. So let's go. Yo, what's up guys? So we are currently inside the sneaker laundry. I'm here with my man, Chase. What's up, bro? Chilling, bro. Just chilling, man. We just opened a new shop. We're down here at 26 Catherine Place. We're at 593 Little Longsdale Street for like three and a half years. It was pretty emotional to uproot it, but mm. couldn't be happy. Like, look at this place, man. Yeah, bro, man. It's this. beautiful, man. This is my baby. This is me and Eugene's baby right here, you know? It's quite a vibe, to be totally honest <laughs> yeah. with you. Like, it's quite the vibe. We only put our heart and soul into things that we build for the community. So this is not only for us, but it's for you too. Oh. Make sure you come down, anyone, anyone who needs it. Look at it. Like we're not biased, we'll clean your shoes. You got some Dolce Gabbana's, we'll clean those too. You got Burberry, we'll clean it. You got Christian Dior, we'll also clean Whoop. it. What else do we have here? Oh my goodness. You got, you got Red Octobers. Oh we'll, my goodness. We'll clean those too for you. <laughs> We'll clean those too. We'll even go as far to take your TNs and make them look like this if you want. No bias. We clean any pair of shoes in here. Any pair of shoes. That's sick. And speaking of cleaning of shoes, so we got the shoes here. Bro, man, have a look at my shoes, bro. 
I'm, I know it's not the best thing ever, like cleaning job and stuff, but nice. Cobra, I'm just like, with this midsole right here, it kind of gets me, man. I, I wish I could just kind of restore it to what it was before. You reckon you can help me, man? I know I can help you, bro. Yeah? But what do you mean about the clean? The clean looks good, bro. What do yeah. you use? I use a secret product. <laughs> bro, I use gold, bro. Ah, that's like, it actually looks like the only thing left on it, man. And, and it, honestly, like what we've learned here massively is that a lot of the times when you think a shoe is dirty, depending on the material, it's actually probably oxidizing. Yeah. Um, it's turning yellow more than it's becoming dirty. So like a good example is we got tough stuff here. This stuff right here normally takes off every speck of dirt, any trace of dirt that's on a shoe. And there's an area right here that looks like dirt. Right, and mm -hmm. we're gonna take this and we're gonna go over it and you'll see that it doesn't get better. All right, but if yeah. we take the same tough scuff and we yeah. go over here on this Burberry, you'll see that it takes scuff off immediately. Oh, okay. But when it doesn't take it off, a lot of the times the shoe either needs a repaint or to be deoxidized. But this pair in particular, this is actually plastic. Oh. Like, when you flick it, as opposed to here, you can hear the difference. This is hard plastic, which means that it's oxidizing, which means that the solution that we use here at the sneaker laundry to deoxidize should and will bring that back to its original color. Cool. cool. So we're 100% gonna get these into the light box over here, and we are going to get these looking the way that you want them to look, Mark. Yeah. Catch. <laughs> so this is actually the first time I've ever held a pair of uh, red Octobers in my hand, guys. So. This is crazy. But he he made these as beaters, bro. Look at, look at What do you reckon about salt protectors? What's your opinion? I have, you know what's funny? Okay, so I own a shop where <laughs> we sell and we provide salt protection on yeah. the bottom of the shoes. But yeah. for me, it makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah. Your shoes go on your feet to protect your feet. That's it. <laughs> One week later. Yo, what's up guys? So we're back here at the sneaker laundry. Uh, it's been around seven days. Uh, that's usually the turnaround time in terms of uh, kind of uh, restoring your sneakers and stuff. So Chase has gone and messaged me that the shoes have been done. And so we're back here today. So I'm actually really kind of curious how they turned out. Um, I'm not expecting the biggest things, but usually Chase knows how to work his magic to make them look brand new. So uh, let's go and check them out, shall we? Oh, and uh, my boy Chase is back everybody. here. How's it going, man? You let down your hair, bro. Yeah, I just figured, you know, like, people, let people see a different side of me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why not? He's good. <laughs> I saw you coming from across the street, if I'm being totally honest with you. I got yeah. your pair ready to go. Hey, look. Bro, look at that. Man, that looks. I was. Is that, is that a brand? Did you just take a brand new pair out of the, the box or something? <laughs> looks great, uh, man. It actually turned out really well, man. Like, but it, pretty much what happened, what I thought was gonna happen, ended up happening. That like more like plastic material. Yeah. Like there's still definitely wear on it, but all that yellowing is pretty much gone, man. Yeah, like it's looking. So and plus, we reset the suede for you. I got all the creases out of the midsole for you as well. Oh my goodness. And I think that I'm gonna do one more thing for you before you actually go. What's that? I'm gonna waterproof it for you. Ah. We're actually discontinuing this. Like for anyone that's what watching that? Mark's channel now, because it's not environmentally friendly. It's aerosol. Ah. So whatever we have in stock right now yeah. is all that we're ever gonna have ever again. And then we're gonna be using like a pump spray uh -huh. for it, which is much better for the environment. And actually like if you have the patience to actually let it cure, because it takes 24 hours for it to actually soak into the material and work, yeah. um, you probably won't ever need to waterproof your shoes like wow. ever again. So one apply. Yeah. One application kind of thing. Too. Yep. Bro. So we're just gonna real quickly go over here. One thing about this stuff as well is that it also brings back color, as you can see. Yeah. Yep. There's a little bit of oil in it, brings back a little bit of that suppleness of the suede. Alright guys, so let's have a closer look, shall we? So uh, if you remember what it looked like before, I, it's actually been a while, so seven days, so I can't really remember all the kind of fine details, but I do remember it being a little bit more dirty than this. I mean, I did a, I tried to do the best job I could, but the guys at Sneakerology definitely did me a solid, and uh, honestly, they look brand new. So I'm actually really, really happy with these, but um, I mean, like, I kind of really want to know 
what uh, Chase did. He said that he did something to it and all this kind of stuff. But I want to know what he actually did. So why don't we just go and ask him? Hey, Chase, bro. Come on, man. You got to tell us what you did with these, man. These these look too good, all right, for what they're actually kind of like how they turned out, man. You got to tell us what you actually did for this, bro. All right, look. If it was anyone else, the answer would be no. But because it's Mark, all right. I'll tell you. <laughs> So obviously we clean the shoe first. That's what you need to do in order to get that result from deoxidizing. Yeah. Essentially that's what it is. We reverse the yellowing. So what we do is we clean the entire shoe. We get the entire upper looking as brand new as possible before we even worry about whatever this problem is. Uh -huh. So obviously we got that result first. And then after the shoe dries, we take a look at here and we put this special de-yellowing sauce on it. We place a little bit of film wrap over it and then we put it under UV lights. And uh, mm. it sits there pretty much all night. I come back in the next morning and this is what we get. Mm, and um, yeah, you know, like I, I had to make sure, man. Like, you've been around since like day one. You know what I mean? And I don't mean day one of the sneaker laundry or day one of my YouTube, like day one of community. And straight up, man, like when a friend of mine from the community or anyone from the community comes to me personally wanting their shoes to look as brand new as possible, because please remember, at the sneaker laundry, we actually don't promote your shoes looking brand new. It fully depends on how you wear them. So if you bring in a pair of shoes, like, yeah, it looks as close to brand new as possible, but like looking at it, you can tell that there's like drag on the toe a little bit, some fading here and there, but like I was saying, if anyone from the community comes into my shop wanting me personally to make their shoes look as brand new as possible, the way that the community has looked after me in the past, I'm always going to look after you guys. So come on down to the sneaker laundry, and if you want your shoes to go from what they look like to this, let me know. I'll sort you out. What a, what a sweetheart. <laughs> they look, that's probably the most noticeable bit, I reckon. I think so. Because it's, it's like... It's like honestly, yeah, no, it's honestly, it looks brand new. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, Ooh. Let's go. Cool. It's all are. done. That's for you, G. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming through, man. Send yeah. your friends. Nice, <laughs> bro. Love you. Like, proper. That's my G right there. Yeah.